Hello and welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic for another variant Sudoku. And uh, this one's got a great set of rules based on um, Simon's plea for a properly socially distanced Sudoku recently. Um, and Isaac Struble has come up with exactly that. So we'll get to that in a minute. Um, I do want to mention um, fascinating um, the crossword video on the channel. Simon attended a... Uh, a Zoom call by Dave Gorman, the British comedian turned crossword compiler on uh, um, on Zoom last night. It went on for ages, but uh, part of it was Dave urging people who'd attended to really have a look at today's independent crossword just as a random day, have a go at solving it and seeing, let me just get rid of that, um, seeing if they could get one or two clues. And Simon has done a video to help anybody who did have a look at it. Um, they can certainly pat themselves on the back if he gets the same answer to a clue and um, they can see why they didn't if he gets a different answer to a clue. So I think it wasn't that easy a crossword in the end. Uh, so worth a look at that video if you're interested in cryptic crosswords at all. Loads of other content on Patreon, um, more crossword stuff, more pencil puzzle stuff, more Sudoku stuff, of course, including um, the various puzzle hunts that we've put out lately. And we are now counting down. I can never do this. How, how far away is the end of February? Six days till the 1st of March. That's what I'm going to say. And uh, we'll stick with it. Now let's hope this doesn't turn out to be a leap year. It's not. So let's get to this puzzle now. Um, do have a go on the link under the video. The rules are relatively straightforward, so normal Sudoku rules apply. Now, the point is that in cages, obviously we have killer cages, so those contain no repeats and add up to the numbers given. But each 3x3 three three box represents a restaurant, and the even digits are its patrons. And because of social distancing, they can never be next to each other to avoid the spread of the virus, of course. So each three by three box in the grid is a restaurant, the even digits are patrons. To maintain social distancing, even digits within a three by three box cannot be adjacent to any other even digit within the same box. Now, clearly that means an even digit there can be adjacent to one in the next box because that's a different restaurant. That's all right, there's a wall between them effectively. So those are the rules of Isaac Struhl's um, puzzle. He hasn't featured on the channel before. We're delighted to get him on board. Um, he had a Harvard email address I saw, which always impresses me. Uh, and anyway, let's give it a try, see how we get on with this and uh, see if we can maintain our social distance while doing it. Let's get cracking. So, um, right, well, there's a six cage and it's in, obviously it's in the same box. So there are two ways to fill that. One is two, four, and that would be illegal under these rules because two and four are even digits and would be next to each other. So we know that five and one are there. Now, of the rest of this box, there must be four even digits and they must be not next to each other. So each of those dominoes can contain one, but there must be one here. So. Okay, we're going, we're going all out on the colouring. Let's go, as usual, orange for odd, blue for even. So there's blue there. Now we've got to fit five in, uh, sorry, we've got to fit five more cells in, but three more even numbers. You can only get one in each domino, so there must be one there. So that's orange. Now we've got to get two more in. We can see where they go now. And that is the pattern within that box, just because that's a six cage down here. Um, so I'm going to fill in three, seven, and nine. I think two, four, six, eight goes without saying in the blue cells. Ah, down here we have a different box. Right, we have an 11 cage. One, two, three, five go in that. Now only one of those is even. So we have to fit three more even digits in this space. And with our checkerboard experience up here, you can probably see that those three even digits have to go in there. The others are odd. Now, where does that leave for the even digit in the 11 cage? It's got to be here to avoid touching another blue cell. No virus here, so that is where the two is. And we get a number in the grid. That two is definite. Um, 
Can we pull this trick again anywhere? I think the answer looks like no or not so clearly anyway. Um, right, this can't be a 9 in an 18 cage. Let's use that. If it's a 7, well then we get the same pattern as here. This is a 1, 2, 3, 5. And the 2 will be here and the other even digits will be here. But it could be a 3. Then these add up to 15. Now what are the combinations there? With, okay, they have to add up to 15 without including another 3. So there's got to be a 1. I think there's got to be a 2. Yes, it would be too high otherwise. So there's a 1 and a 2 in this group of cells. Um, in the cage, oh, this is if, oh, well, there definitely is, because if it's a 7, it's 1, 2, 3, 5. If it's a 3, I've just worked out there's a 1 and a 2. Now, apart from the 1, 2, 3, we need two other digits. Ah. So it's either 1, 2, 5, 7 which gives it exactly the same constituents as if this is a, a 7, that gives the cage the same constituent numbers, or 1, 2, 4, 6 would make up the numbers, but that is not possible because there's no way to fit 2, 4, and 6 into this cage. Oh no, I'm talking nonsense. There is a way to fit 2, 4, and 6 into the cage without them touching each other. They could go there. Ah, okay. I thought I was onto something there, and I'm not. So let's look somewhere else. Um, what about this 32? Okay, well, um, the secret that we occasionally reveal to you is that the digits 1 to 9 add up to 45. Now, if you subtract 32, that means that these four cells in this box of 1 to 9 add up to 13. So they've got to include a 1. Ah, yes, okay. So if they were 1, 3, 4, 5, which is one of the ways of adding 13 from four cells, then these would be 2, 6, 7, 8, 9. Yeah, that's not going to work. That's not going to work because there's three even digits within that. Now you could space those three even digits out somewhere. But the other even digit in the box, the 4, where's that going to go? It can't go in the cage because it's not one of the constituents of the cage. And if it goes anywhere outside it, it must be touching one of these. It doesn't matter which 3 you make it. To put a 4 outside it is going to ruin it. So 1, 3, 4, 5 is not how these are made up. Indeed, they must contain at least... Well, I don't know. Let's try the other combinations. I'm not quite sure. 1, 2, 3, 7 is one of them. Then this will contain, this is the same problem. This will contain three even digits in 4, 5, 6, 8, 9. And where's the 2 going to go? There's, there's, you know, you can put the three even digits. You could even put them there to, because the 2 is going to have to go down here. There's no way, it just can't work. That's absolutely fascinating. Right, so one, two, three, seven's no good. One, three, four, five's no good. I think there's only one other variation. It must be one, two, four, six for the even digits. Now that would leave three, five, seven, eight, nine. That's perfect. Okay, the outsides are one, two, four, six. The insides of this cage are three, five, seven, eight, nine. But the eight, can't be in either of these outer positions because it would have to touch one of two, four, and six. So the eight has to be in the central circle here, the central seating position, if you like, at this, uh, is that a table? I don't think the cages are tables. Anyway, um, these are all odd around it, therefore. Now I don't know which one of these outside ones is the one and is odd, but the eight has to be there. Now, what else can we do? No, I'm not sure. Now, I was left here. I thought I'd got this down to one possibility, but that wasn't the case, was it? So one, two, 
three, five, seven is one way of making up 18 that we can make work based on the model down here. Now the alternative that I decided could work was, was three even numbers here. Now what was it? It was one, two, four, six. No, one, two, four, eight, and three there. So the one would be here. You'd have two, four, and eight in these cells. I can't see immediately how that works. Okay, let's do a bit of ordinary Sudoku. Those two have to be four and six because they're even and they can see eight and two. So eight is here. Eight must be up here somewhere in box seven. Um, ah! Okay, this has to be odd. Right, let's just take out those eight pencil marks because I want to be able to see the 21 clue. Now, I know this is odd because the only even number left to go in the row is a two. That can't go in here because it would need 19 total up there. We're not going to put 10 in a cell. So that two is impossible there. Um, therefore, that cell is odd. Two is in one of these two places. Um, don't know which one, but odd there in a 21 cage, these two, because the cage total is odd and that digit is odd, these two must add up to an even number. Now they can't be two even numbers, that wouldn't be allowed. So they must be two odd numbers. And now we know that this cage is made up of nine, seven and five, that's lovely. And look, we've got five odds in row seven, so everything else in it is even. These two don't include the one, and we know they don't include the two, so they're a four, six pair. The two, one pair is down here. This must be the eight. Um, and suddenly we've got a bit done, which came a bit out of the blue to me there. Right, now let's have, sorry, I should have looked at this column earlier. There's two blue even cells still to go in column five. So they've got to be in this central restaurant of this and they mustn't be next to each other. So clearly they're in those positions. That means the other blues in that box have to be in these positions and we've got the whole box done, color wise anyway. Now this is even in a 13 cage. So the other bits have to add up to an odd total. So there's one odd, one even here. Uh, that's not clearing anything up for me there. Okay, not to worry about that. Um, these can't be eight, so they're from two, four, or six. Now, five, seven, nine. One of these has to be a one, because there's nowhere else in the row to get a one. So this isn't a one. Now the one is in one of these two cells with two. Oh, and of course it's not in this one because that's next to a blue cell. So I can color that within the box. That becomes blue. The only way to fit two more blues in is there. We now know which of these is two and which is one from the parities that we've established. This is three, four, and six with the three in the middle, four and six around it. So this can't be three anymore. These are seven and nine. That's all that's left in the box. So this actually becomes five here. That fixes the one five up at the top of the grid. We're suddenly getting a bit of interplay between top and bottom that we, since the column five, it's been a bit lacking. So what else can we do with that? Five, eight, one, that's three, seven or nine, and this is two, four or six. Um, This can't be two anymore. Does it help to know that two's in one of those cells? No, I don't think so, because this can still be one, two, seven, five, three with the two there. Then we'd have to have eight here and four, six there to get them to fit in. But what's the alternative? The alternative is one, two, four, eight here, isn't it? So that would have to be the four. Two and eight would be there. We'd have a six out here. That would make that four, that's six. 
Uh, it does still work. Now one of these has to be blue, but either one or two of these, so that doesn't tell us what this is necessarily. Um, okay, I'm not quite finding what to do next. That's intriguing. So let's... Can that be eight? It could be if this was one four. Yeah, it's quite an interesting question. The only way for this to be eight, this can't be two three because there's a two locked in one of those cells. So this could be one and four. That would put a one here and a one here, six here, four here. We'd have one, four, six. There'd be a one there. With a one there, we've only got the single two in the cage, that would make this where 8 had to be. Oh, I don't know. In fact, 8 can never be in this 18 cage because it can't be a 1, 2, 3, 4, 8 cage. Oh, it can. That could be 3. Sorry, that's complete bobbins again. Um, one, two, four, okay, I don't know quite what I'm looking at there. I'm going to put in the two, four, six, eight possibilities in blue in box two that I've been looking at for a while. Now, I need to figure out another breakthrough. Sorry, I'm not, not getting very far with this at the moment. There's probably something very obvious like that column five thing that was staring at me for so long. Um, several of these are, ah, these rows, row four and six only have one blue in so far. Now I want to say that that's meaning that the sort of checkerboard that exists always has to have blue in those cells. But I don't think it does because you could still fit enough blues in. Yeah, it's not, that's not conclusive at all. Um, ah, come on, Mark, think about this. Think about this harder. Five has to be in one of those two cells. That's just not interesting. Ah, oh, oh, that's very silly. Sorry, I've just noticed I've got three blues in column six, so that has to be blue at the bottom. That's orange. I have a feeling this is going to go nowhere else other than telling me how to disambiguate the two and the one, but I'm going to do that. That's not a two. One of these is a one. One of these I've just been seeing is a five. Now, does it tell us anything about the 13 cage? That might be the only where, place where identifying the numbers a little more closely in box five helps. Um, but the trouble is that even digit hasn't been narrowed down at all. It's four, six or eight. Um, if it's six. This adds up to seven without using two and without using six. That would be a three, four pair. If it's eight, it's a one, four pair. But if it's four, it's not four, five, and it's not two, seven, but it could be one, eight or three, six. Oh, well, that's interesting. So all the possibilities, if this is an eight, we use a four here, and then we've used four and six in column seven. If this is a six, we use a four here, and then we've used four and six in column seven. If this is a four, oh, it could be eight, one here. Oh, okay, if this is a four, either we use the six here, and then again we've used six and four in column seven, or 
in all of those cases that I've described so far, this cannot be one, two, four, six, because we'd need to get at least one of the four or six in there. So the one way it seems like we could use one, two, four, six with even digits here is to have eight here, four, one here, but then your four even digits in the column wouldn't include eight. You'd have a four here, six here. Oh, in fact, yes, you're always using four and six, whatever you do, because two, three is not possible here. Yes. Right, so the one, two, four, six up here has become impossible. We cannot have that as an even pattern. Instead, those are odd. This is the only even, it is the number two. Um, that means this is a one, two, three, five, seven cage for definite. Um, so I'm going to take out the corner marks, I think, and fill in one, three, five, and seven. Now that can't be one or five because they're there. Um, right. Now we know where the other blues in the box go. The only way to fit them in is in those places. Thank you, social distancing. Orange in the rest. Now, eight says it has to be here. Six and four here. Oh, all the blues have been done in this column, so they're all orange. Now, how are you going to fit four blues into this box? I think they've got to go in those four cells. There's no other way. So they're all blue now. Uh, it probably doesn't resolve this 13 cage at all. And, and fair enough, but... Thank you to the 13 gauge for helping us get this far. Now it can't have a nine in, so the only place for a nine in column seven is down at the bottom. That puts seven there. Can't be a seven either, because four, seven, two is not possible. So it's one, three or five there. So seven is in one of these two places and not in these two. So in fact, this has become a three now. And that takes three out of the other cells in the cage, seven there, and a one five pair. Now these can't have a three in, they are seven or nine. This can't have a three in anymore. This is a very clever puzzle. I mean, it's really not simple and straightforward at all. Um, right, now. We've got to fit two more blues in row five, both in box four, which is a separate restaurant, has to have its blues separate. So they go in there. Everything touching them becomes orange. Those are blue. This 15 cage now has an even and an odd, needs another even to make up an odd total. That's giving me all four blues in column three. I think I'm gonna be able to finish off the coloring now. That's orange because it's next to a blue, so blue to finish the row. Orange because it's next to a blue and blue to finish the column. Orange because it's next to blue and blue to finish everything off. There we go. Right, so that's the full colored grid. Now, how can I use these new cages or the 13 cage to narrow down the digits at this point? That's not a two. So this is four or six in the 16 cage. Oh, look, this is an odd number that can see one, five, seven, and three. So that's a nine, that's a three, that's not three. Um, this is a nine, it can see all the other odds in the cage, including that one, five pair. That's resolved the seven, nine pair there. One of these is seven. It could be in the cage or it could not be so that's not helpful one or five there now one of these is eight can this be eight eight one four yes it can um, but this can't be five anymore because these have to be different so that's not a five hmm that can't be nine. This can't be seven. Oh, so one of these is a one. I can't rely on one of those being a one though. That's a shame. 
although seven and nine have to be in that run yeah that's not helping nine three two eight we've got a four six pair there so these are from one five and seven ah and this one can't be a one because of sudoku so five nine that can't be a seven and it's got to be lower and it can't be a three so that's one or five which gives us a pair in the row this becomes a three now if this was one ah oh, these two can't add up to 15. brilliant so that's a five that's a seven that's 12. this is a four wow okay that's really nice how that disambiguated doesn't almost feel like it was right but it worked so it must have been um now what about this 15 do we know how that works this we've got six and eight to place ah yes this cannot be a six eight pair because that would have to be a one and we've already got a one in the column so that must be two um how can we use that a bit more two so these two add up to 13 and that can't be six therefore we've already got a seven in the column so eight five six now i think we're on the home trail so uh maybe we can just pop into beast mode and get it done the only odd there is a nine that's four because it can't be six in the box six and four there that's not five this is one yes that's seven in fact could have done that quicker four five nine six one eight two three and seven the even one is a two the others are three and seven now that's six or eight and so is this in the 13 cage now does that mean anything yet no six three four is possible oh hang on this can't be six or eight because it either has to have a duplicate here or go too high. So that's four, and that is very useful, surely. These two now add up to nine. So, okay, so I don't know what they are, but I know almost everything else that's been involved in cages or um, positions of odds and evens in the grid. So I've got two and six to place in the evens there. Let's finish off the evens now. I think we can do that. Uh, maybe not until we get this actually although the two in row in column four and indeed in row one has to be there yes I think we're going to need to get that right sorry there's a one looking straight at that cell sorry for the slowness there so three and six that makes 13 now we can finish off all the evens surely eight uh, four there eight there four six eight six i think that's all the evens done now we're just looking at the odds that has to be a nine it's a naked single effectively five and seven there one nine pair can go in now i can place the one here and the five i've got a three and a seven left which i have to do from the columns and i can finish off column one uh well no the top of it three there one five pair that's a three seven and nine five and nine one and five what a very pretty puzzle that's a really nice piece of work um let's just hit the ch no i haven't finished it off just as i clicked the button i could see this one and five there we go looks good to me very nice puzzle very pretty very very relevant to our times and thank you very much to Isaac for sending it. Really enjoyed that and uh, hope you did too. And hope to see you again soon on Cracking the Cryptic. Bye for now.